what is necessary with Cobb is to get the, mic the, the materials, in particular the clay, compressed and stamped on. You can't make a good Cobb mix without some compression involved. So you can't make a good Cobb mix in a cement mixer, for example. There are other mechanical ways that you can do it, but that's not one. Just tumbling doesn't get it. So what we want to do is get our, get our weight onto the mix using the water to soften up the clay. <laughs> um, a flat site is helpful too, so that your water does not run off. If you notice big chunks, like a big chunk of cattail or something, go ahead and pull that out. But if it's just little bits of grass, you're going to be adding straw to it anyway. So that's not really a problem. There are some hard <laughs> So you'll notice that we're using the tarp to turn the mix. We want to do that really frequently. Basically stomp it out flat. This is close to the amount of water that we want in here. Roll it back up now. You're pulling the tarp, not pushing it. And we're just going for the sand and the clay being, being homogenized at this point. The clay lumps being broken and the water works into the mix. So we're pretty close. There's a few lumps that I can feel. You can see as we're rolling, there's still some sand underneath there. It did not work in. Pardon? It doesn't matter. <laughs> this, this particular batch is three to two. Clay over sand. But you'll all be doing something different. So this is pretty close to the point at which we could start adding straw. The moisture content's pretty good here. You notice when you, st you stomp in it and pull your foot out, the mix leaves the impression of your foot. So it's not so wet that it's just uh, leveling itself out. But it is damp enough that it's workable. We're gonna be able to get a lot of straw into it. And it's fairly homogenous now. Let's roll it one more time and just check and see if there's any, any sand that isn't real through. That looks pretty good. People want to just feel that, get your feet or your hands in it, and feel especially the moisture.